Lobotomy Corporation. If you don't know what this game is, think of it like taking care of a zoo. Except the zoo is SCPs. And they need constant supervision. Or like a T-Rex in Zoo Tycoon, they'll just kick the wall down and be like, I'm getting out of here. And just leave while everyone in the building screams. So I, it's a full clean save. We're playing with a couple of quality of life mods. Oh, oh, three, oh, three. So at the beginning of every day in this game, you get, you get to pick uh, out of three anomalies, which one you want to move into your building. Skip. I just don't care. I don't know who you are. Answer. Skip. Keep your uh, yaya shit to yourself. Uh, we have one mission for the day, which is compl complete three work processes, which is basically walking in and feeding the SCP for the day. You can go ahead and make sure this new employee understands what they're getting into. Don't want them to die or anything. I can't imagine how experienced and skilled the manager must be to have his position. No one tell him it's my first day. So this over here is our only anomaly. A creature only known as 00303, a spooky skeleton with a cross in it. So if we inspect it right now, we know nothing about it. We don't know what it does. We don't know what its powers are. We have no understanding of it. The only way to actually learn anything about it is to send someone in, chat, which is fine right now because this is the tutorial creature. But later it sucks because we won't know what we're sending someone into and one of the creatures might just be like, if you try to understand me, I will blow up your head and eat you. Evangeline, go! <laughs> I believe in you! Get in there! So these are normal idiots. Uh, they are expendable creatures that simply do nothing but usually fuck us over. So Evangeline is trying their hardest to understand what this thing is. And this right here is the overall success of the research. Evangeline's doing a very good job. If a red block appears, that means that something negative has happened, which will either physically impact our employee or mentally impact. And it happened again. Evangeline, you doing okay in there? They'll they'll be fine. No one's ever died on day one, but that was an only average, only an average job there. Good news is, chat, what we get is five PE boxes. These are unique per abnormality, and we get to choose in this game, which is, this is like my, honestly, this is why I like this game so much. It's got a very unique way of like understanding what these SCPs actually do. We get to choose for ourselves what we want to learn. Uh, the second that that time is done, we're gonna send Evangeline back in. Where are you going? Why is everyone telling me to be careful around the abnormalities? They can't be that dangerous, can they? Stay in the hallway, I'm sending you back into the kill zone. <coughs> Evangeline, nothing's changed from last time. So if you could get some Evangeline? Evangeline? <coughs> Evangeline? <coughs> Evangeline? Get it up there! Evangeline lived. After the maximum number of PE boxes was produced with 0303, it restored the mental health of every employee in the department. This is very good to remember because this guy's actually pretty much always a good buff for the team uh, because he will just be like, ah, oh, thanks everyone. He's basically like Jesus. And if we, uh, if we give him a hug, he'll make everyone healthy. Jesus is getting angry and he is going to break out of the facility and kill everyone in the building. When this counter rolls over to the next level, something in the facility is going to have a meltdown. And we don't know what happens if it does. Jesus is gonna grab his basketball and he's gonna break some fucking ankles out there. This is a recording of the day we must never forget. Nope. People have been committing sins since long ago. Why do they commit sins knowing it's wrong? Uh, pass. Um. She was so talkative before, yet in the end, loneliness was the only listener. I'm not taking the sin, bird. I won't fucking do it. We're gonna take 00112. Uh, we're gonna hire another person. We're gonna name this person, uh, Bungus. Cause they're really important. I'm gonna name them Bungus. And now, we're gonna hire one more person. Freaking idiot. Someone's gotta be the fall guy, all right? Someone's gotta go in there and do the shit no one else wants to do so that we can research what happened. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get some clothes on these. E oh, I actually didn't buy them yet. All right, they're going in naked. What's one more day? Woo!
Grandpa? What the fuck's Granny doing here? Granny? An abnormality taking the form of an old and feeble woman. Anytime someone enters its containment unit, it will talk to that person. All right, it's just Grandma. Frickin' idiot has finished their designated work. They scamper out of 010112's containment unit quickly, but they're not done. Okay, Bungus, do another set of uh, uh, work on Jesus while we check what's up with, with Grandma. When an abnormality other than 00112 was worked with, the Quaifloff counter lowered. <laughs> Stop all work on Jesus! Okay. So for context, Jet, the Quaifloff counter is this question mark clock thing above them. When that reaches zero, the creature inside the box will do something naturally evil. They'll do something a little naughty. They're kind of, that's kind of when they become little stinkers. I don't know if grandma's packing a gun, but I do not fucking trust that old lady. I don't trust that old bag, all right? An abnormality taking the form of an old and feeble woman. Anytime someone enters its containment unit, it will talk to that person. What it tells differs from time to time. However, it always... It will always commence with, Deary, dearie, would you like to hear a story? This story could be a lullaby, an unspecified poem, a nursery rhyme, a common children's story, or something entirely new. When someone enters her room, she'll try to fill that void. Of course, listening to her is a very dangerous thing. She knows every story on Earth, and even those that cannot possibly exist. Our minds can't cope with such a thing. It could fry your brain in an instant. We're gonna do like one more or two more of these and then we'll uh, actually send people to the next day. It's just, Grandma's getting antsy, they wanna break out. Whatever, end the day. S, somewhere in the distance you can hear seagulls. All right, let's get in there, big day today. <sighs> Newbie. Get in there and try to understand what's happening in there, Shrimgus. Get in there and try to understand, Shrimgus, what's going on? Everything's looking to be a staggeringly average research process, but will Shrimgus survive? Shrimgus, don't drink that! Oh, they're okay. They drank it, but they're okay. Shrimgus took physical damage from being in there, but Shrimgus is the trainer for this. It's time. We're gonna save lap points. We shouldn't need any for whatever comes out of this. This should be an easy, fast day. What is that? The fuck is that? What is that? <clears throat> Bozo! <laughs> Someone has to interact with the book. So this is a different kind of anomaly chat. Essentially, uh, we learn what it does based on how many times we use it. It's an item. It's not an actual, like, it's not a thing that can, like, mm, get you like the shrimp or grandma. Well, they got finished with that really fit. What the fuck is, Bozo, what the fuck just happened? Their prudence is up really high and so is their justice. The employee who reads this book will experience an increase in prudence. That's cool. I bet if they use it again, they die. <laughs> We will use this once a day and not with the same person. Bozo, get the fuck out of there. We're gonna farm Shrimgus's attachment using Grandma while Evangeline punches Jesus and while Bungus also trains his instinct with the soda. Cool. All right, day's over. Easy day, dude, easy day. It definitely doesn't get worse. <laughs> Try to definitely, I swear, dude, it doesn't get worse, dude. This game stays easy. No one knows what the book does, but we will know something about it once we finish reading it again. Skin prophecy. All right, no one is reading this book ever again. Tool abnormality classification, single use. Well, that's all I need to know. It's just a flat buff as long as we never use it again. The way I see it then is we're not going to use it ever unless it's melting down. If it melts down, we can send someone in single use style. It can melt down. I don't know, man. It's made out of skin. It's probably alive. Either way, this is a good. This is a good spread of first anomalies. We've got like a. We've got a lot of stuff that can. Whoa, sir! <laughs> Red alert, dude. <laughs> we're gonna send in. Uh, we're gonna send in Bozo. We'll send in Bozo. Actually, rip Bozo. What do you mean, rip Bozo? <laughs> rip. Rip Bozo's not gonna fucking die. 
But I can also tell you this, I don't have to send them in. Uh, we'll just lose some electricity. You know what, we're gonna let, we're gonna let the meltdown happen. We're not gonna send in Bozo. I think that's actually, actually dangerous. How do you win this game? Eons from now, this game's fucking long as hell, chat. Chat, for context, this is one division. There's like nine. So think about the scale of this right now and then managing nine more of those. Increasingly deeper all at the same time as this one. It's impossible to finish, we'll never beat it. Is there automation? It's called simply knowing what to do all the time. Okay, is there automation? Oh, mega lol. All right, so hang on. I'm gonna do some hires to just see if I can get a good name so I don't have to spend fucking millions of dollars. Tim! <laughs> Welcome to the team, Tim. No need to spend any lob points on that one. And hire another. Morty. Morty. Two Ayaya. Nope. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. One more. After this one. No. No. I right, welcome to the team, Georgia. It's what I would say if I wasn't gonna hire Paulinius. <laughs> welcome to the team, Paulinius. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> what's up? A tree stands in the middle of the containment unit. It never withers even if it is not given any form of nutrition. All right, so there's a chance Tim does not survive. Tim? Okay, Tim did not approach the tree. That's good. What does it do though? When the work result was good, the Quifloff counter lowered. You fucking love to see that. You love it when a fucking an abnormality in this game says, when you do a good job, I actually punish you. When the Quifloff counter reached zero, a few random employees in the facility began to move towards 004100. This status was designated as captivated. When a captivated employee reaches the containment unit, they were dragged into the tree. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this tree, but you know what? I'm gonna send, uh, I'm gonna send Bungus in and hope he comes out alive. I can't believe people can die so easily. Okay, we're gonna cancel that. We're gonna send in freaking idiot. That was a bad omen. I'm not sending in Bungus now. Tree's getting bad, dude. I think this could be it. But you know, if we already know inside's good no matter what, there's really not much reason to not like try a different one and see what happens. So we're gonna send Tim in with instinct instead and just see if it comes out with a better result. Tim is doing worse. The question is, can Tim mentally handle failure? Because he's taking mental damage doing this. Oh my God! And got eaten. Dude, that didn't even that didn't even fucking de-bloom the tree. Hang on, send uh send uh let's this is a now we can see okay, Tim is dead. Paul get on down there. Going better. No, it's going worse. Problem is without going into another thing, I can't actually see how much health. Oh yeah, I know what's happening. They're dying. The mental damage in this is so high. Well, no, because Paul just had a mental break. Yeah, Paul's just having a panic attack. Okay, uh what the hell's that? <laughs> See how that does. The fruit of understanding has come. Oh my god, it's eating someone! It landed on that guy! Theta, no! All teams to the fruit of understanding. In wings two, three, and four. Now. It's camping Bungus' door! Get them! All right, we got it. Everything's fine, Chad. Everyone just calm down. You've pressed it numerous times and you still have something you want to know about it? I, we don't even need a poll for this one, I don't think. Oh, you guys are trying to end my run, aren't you? <laughs> There's never this many votes unless someone's trying to end my run. That's fine. I get to keep my characters in this one. That's one of the quality of life mods I had. So if we reset, we're just going to lose all these fucking SCPs. And we're going to have to get new ones. It's way nicer. Can't believe Tim fucking died. Anyways, higher. Nope, higher, nope, higher, nope, higher, nope, higher, nope, higher. Stem cell 462. Now that's a goddamn name. They're, they're doing the XD face, basically. Very kawaii. Well, it's probably gonna be bad today. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. I 
Preston! I rather killed everyone, you happy? Happy? My freaking game crashed. He pressed the button, dude! Dude, LOL! That's an Omega LOL for me, dude! No, we're okay. We just can't ever interact with that button. If there's any meltdowns on that button, we just can't touch it. Dude, come on, man. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> what the fuck just happened, man? Let me just... Mm. Alright, we're gonna reset. Fuck is that? The fuck is that? What is that? Get someone get mom. <laughs> a tree laced with ribbons, though it appears harmless, the occasional rumor says otherwise. Gender reveal pylon. One. Dingle dangle. <laughs> <laughs> we know the name of the demon. We can exercise it. Dingle dangle! Dingle Dangle attempts to hypnotize an agent with over three prudence every 40 seconds. However, if any of their other three stats are also over three, they are unaffected. Plus, it might not be that bad. We don't know the other parts of this, Chad. It might not be. Dingle Dangle might be the ding dang nicest creature we've ever had in this freaking facility. I swear to God. A hypnotized agent Noah entered Dingle Dangle's containment unit in a trance. This phenomenon has been dubbed allurement. When said agent was killed, a fruit appeared in the containment chamber. So far, I'm not a big fan of Dingle Dangle. I hate Dingle Dangle, dude. <laughs> I, everyone, I've asked many of people about their opinions on Dingle Dangle when they pass me on the street. I have a little clipboard. I've been asking them what they think about Dingle Dangle. Every single one of them has been like, I fucking hate Dingle Dangle. I don't like Dingle Dangle. Matter of fact, not even Dingle Dangle likes being Dingle Dangle. Look at that. We're starting to reach the curve where I'm gonna have to care about the uh, Dingle Dangle. It's coming. It's coming, Chad. I told you it was gonna happen and no one believed me. Dingle Dangles are gonna come soon. He, he's gonna, he's gonna do the thing. I wanna say this. If you say gross when I say Dingle Dangle is going to come and do his horrible thing, you're the sicko. Okay, just to be clear, I'm not gonna point any fingers or name any names, but we all know who we are. Okay, what's really pitiful is people like you dying to the likes of me. One day you'll understand the meaning of the desperation on their faces when the roulette spins. Why did you despise us so? One, two, three. Interesting, yeah, three looks like it's gonna win this. I don't need to. Skip! Who the fuck is this creep? Oh, what the fuck is this? What did you guys have me take? What the fuck is that? All right. Absolve? <laughs> no, no! What do you mean, absolve? <laughs> no, we don't talk to that one. Get back to work over it. No, fuck, I have to, I have to do this. Insight, Bungus. Let's get that fucking bread, dude. Let's go get, let's get back on that grind. Fungus, be cool, man. One? Oh, this is a new tier. This is not Teth. This is not Zayin or Teth. I can tell by how much energy it's making. But Insight seems to be good, which means uh, it's probably bad. They do white damage, but not a lot. Bozo died. <laughs> fuck you talking about bozo died where is bozo what do you mean bozo died it's okay chat is that evidently these did something to him we can reset the day and get bozo back but i need to know what happened was it dingle fucking dangle no one has prudence for okay well we'll get the last two tips Listening to FO533's woes through Absolve works at their Krythloff counter back to full. However, prudence of the employee who undertook the work was halved for the rest of the day. Nothing here explains how Bozo died. Like, as long as we keep doing well on Insight, we'll just never have a problem with this person? It was like they don't have any downsides just spamming Insight on them. 
Bozo died again. Where? Bozo! I'm not seeing a fruit on Dingle Dangle! I'm not seeing a body! Where did... Clear the bu... Clear the room! Schrodinger is Bozo. I'm... I'm... I'm kept... I need to retry one more time. Everyone but Bozo! Move out of the room! I am not going to take our camera off of Bozo all day today unless it's paused. We're gonna watch Bozo like a fucking hawk. Bozo watch. <laughs> we are not letting Bozo get out of this one. Bozo watch. Keep watching Bozo, eyes on Bozo. Is the Dingle Dangle ability... That was totally Dingle Dangle. He just disappeared. He just wa He's walking to Dingle Dangle. Dingle Dangle attempts to hypnotize an agent was over three prudence every 40 seconds. However, if any other three stats is also over three, they were unaffected. Over three. Weirdo, freaking idiot, we have you planted here for this reason. Intercept, Bozo. Intercept, Bozo. All right, they let him go. Is this bugged? I think the description is just bad. I think it might be, because this is a mod thing. We're back in old, like bad translation zone. For some reason, the only creature this guy hates is Bozo. So here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Exiling Bozo to the fucking basement, dude. I gotta watch this place like a fucking hawk all day now because Dingle Dangle's up to some bullshit. Inside, fungus, get in there. Because uh, the counter for this one gets worse and worse as time goes on. All right, where's Bozo? Where eyes on Bozo? Bozo was supposed to go down. Oh, no, there they are. Okay. Dingle Dangle. I don't know if Dingle Dangle can actually affect Bozo if they're in a different division, which might be the thing that saves Bozo. Just, I just keep. Eyes like a fucking hawk on Bozo. Eyes on Bozo, okay? It's not a joke. Eyes on Bozo, eyes on Dingle Dangle. No one fucking blink. What the fuck did you just say? But once we're done with this research, the day will end. Uh, Fruit of Understanding, we know this one. As long as no one goes for that ding dang, Dingle Dangle, everything's gonna be okay. Yalarat, I order you to turn around. Okay, that worked. Okay, so if you send anyone up here, there's a chance that Dingle Dangle will just be like, what's up? And tell you to go get inside the chamber? That's awful. Apparently Evangeline can solo uh, the Fruit of Understanding. We're gonna end the day. For okay, so um, Dingle Dangle is starting to piss me the fuck off. It literally makes itself into the safest place on earth. The final chapter begins with the phrase, born again. Those betrayed hearts sank into the depths, slowly forgotten in the ever lengthening corridors of time. Okay, number three goes hard. Although to be honest, uh, Dingle Dangle is going hard enough that um, it's feeling like a, it's feeling like this is an inevitable reset to ditch Dingle. Okay, it looks like people want the corridors of time. Okay, what is it? All right. Hey, newbie, get the fuck down here. Touch it. This thing's probably gonna kill the new recruit and then somehow kill us all. Showing me your shit. Did they just walk in and then immediately nope out as fast as they fucking could? The fuck back in there. <laughs> I order you to get in there. I... Gustafsson, I, I, I order you to get in there and research this anomaly. Evidently, they need a better weapon or something. Maybe it's like a weapon. Because that it's got to be gear armor reliant. Or like stat reliant. <sighs> Gustafsson, what an embarrassment. What a cringe motherfucker. All right, freaking idiot. Okay. Bungus is wearing dingle dangle gear. Bungus has tier two. Bungus can do it. What's happening? He seems to be gamble. Is this a gamble?
Fungus actually lost his weapon. You can use it to fortify an ego weapon. Okay, I mean, that's fine. Nurse, nurse, it's fine. We can get more nurses. I just need more copium. We could also gamble. No, no, we can't afford that. We can't afford something like that, Chad. It's just, it's just so freaking expensive. But I will get the Drowned Sister's weapon and then get the armor next time. <coughs> Insanely good. That's like a, that is a boss killing item. I need you to, dude, you can't even equip this fucking item. That is a W-A-W weapon. That's four, tier four. You can't equip it without five prudes. Don't even bother. You can't handle it. You can't handle the strongest weapon in the game. Funnily enough, Bozo's the best one to get this weapon. It's time. The cursed thing. So this is another free day. Where we don't have anything new come in. Which is why I'm gonna go in. Bozo, I need you to go in there and gamble the WAW weapon inside of the machine. Go. We're going to make this the strongest weapon ever made. Bozo, go. <laughs> the strongest weapon we've ever created. The, to lose it now would be such a shame. Get in there. I believe! I believe! Blue means good! Yes! I'm sorry, why did it reset all this one? Uh huh? Why did it reset these characters, despite me keeping all my items? If you reset the day, the progress you made gets reset too. Chat, retry the day is only the day, to be clear. Allow your Omega Lully, which is why our characters still have uh, all of our items. That might be a bug. That's a bug. The upgrade is only per that day. I'm missing items, chat. It reset my, my I kept my characters, but it reset my items. But I kept my dies? So I lost all the research and, but I kept the P E boxes. That's a bug. All right, well, we'll probably wrap up for today there anyways. Uh, see you tomorrow. 3 p.m. ish. EST. Goodbye.